Welcome back future medicos. In today's video we are going to look at a common question that are raised nowadays by candidates. Candidates do ask is there any PG quota in AIMS? Is there any PG quota in GIPMER? If I study MBBS in AIMS, do I get a special reservation? Do I study MBBS in GIPMER? Do I get a special reservation? If there is a special reservation, how many seats are reserved? Is it easier to get through this? Right? These kind of questions do come from candidates. The candidates want to understand what are the advantages of studying in a central institution like AIMS or GIPMER. Now let's look at in this video, right? Uh, what is the kind of reservation or what is the kind of institutional preference given to candidates who are graduating from either AIMS or GIPMER? First, we will talk about the institutional preference within AIMS. Now, one thing you need to understand, if you want to get an institutional preference or commonly known as PG quota, a candidate must have studied and obtained MBBS degree from the same AIMS. Okay, remember this from the same AIMS. That means if you study in AIMS Delhi, you graduate from AIMS Delhi, you get preference in AIMS Delhi. If you graduate from AIMS Rishikesh, you do your MBBS in AIMS Rishikesh, then you get preference only in Rishikesh. You are Tamil Nadu, AIMS Madurai, AIMS Madurai is the preference. Right? So understand that the preference comes only to that particular AIMS institution. It's not for all the AIMS. Just by studying in one AIMS, you don't get preference in all the, say, 19 AIMS. You don't get that. You get only for that particular college. Second point, you must fulfill the eligibility for unreserved candidates. So you should at least score 50 percentile and clear the exam right that's the minimum you should have qualified at least as an unreserved candidate you may be a reserved candidate that's fine okay you may be obc you may be sc you may be st but your mark should be in um, your mark should be at par with unreserved candidates you should have qualified under the unreserved um, requirements then only you will be eligible for institutional preference now, what are the other conditions? How many seats will be given reservation? Because again, there is a lot of confusion between candidates. People um, very carelessly say 50 percentage of seats are reserved for uh, PG quota, right? That's not true. You need to understand what do they mean by 50 percentage. The first point, maximum of 50 percentage of MBBS seats will be available as institutional preference. That means if in one college there are 100 MBBS seats, then only 50 candidates can avail the uh, PG quota. That means not all the MBBS graduates can go through the institutional preference. Maximum 50 percentage of the candidates only can be admitted through institutional preference. That is the first condition. Second condition is the total PG quota for institutional preference shall not exceed 50 percentage of the total unreserved seats. For example, if there are 50 unreserved PG seats in a college, then you cannot give more than 25 seats to a um, institutional preference candidate. Now, when we talk about MBBS seats, when I said 100 seats out of 100 seats, 50 percentage can get reservation. When I say MBBS seats, it's not the current batch. You should look at five years before, right? For example, if 2022 session, July 2022 admission, you should look at the 2016 MBBS batch. 2016 MBBS batch will be graduating in 2022 and they will be getting into the PG. So you need to look at 2016, what was the MBBS intake? Now the college might have increased the number of seats. In 2016, there may be only 50 seats. Now it might have been increased to 100 seats. So when you do the calculation, you should look at 2016, what was the MBBS number. Okay, that's important. Now this may be very confusing. So I did a small example for you for illustration so that you can clearly understand. So Ames Bhopal, I have taken Ames Bhopal as an example. First, let's look at in 2016, what was the MBBS intake? 
in 2016 100 students were admitted right now 100 students were admitted so as we discussed the reservation cannot exceed more than 50 percentage of the mbbs intake so that's the first condition that means 50 percentage of mbbs intake is what 50 candidates so not more than 50 candidates can be given reservation first point second point let's look at how many total pg seats are available in bhopal there are only 54 seats available in bhopal then let's look at how much unreserved seats are available for that you need to look at the 200 point roster and then you have to find out what is the distribution now you can see here out of the 54 seats 24 seats are unreserved 5 seats are ews category 14 seats under obc 8 seats sc and 3 seats st now what is 200 point roster i will show you later but as of now look at that this is the reservation okay you can look at like 27 percentage obc right 15 percentage seven and a half percentage 10 percentage right that's that's the one but the numbers will be slightly different you need to look at 200 point roster to exactly find out the numbers now what is the second condition i said it should not exceed 50 percentage of the unreserved seats so how many seats are available 24 unreserved seats 50 percentage of that is what only 12 seats are available maximum for a pg quota now you need to compare these two and you should take the minimum to provide the reservation so 12 seats is the minimum that means maximum 12 candidates can be given institutional preference okay out of the 100 students from 2016 batch maximum 12 candidates can get the reservation in the 54 seats so that's approximately what is the percentage it comes to approximately about 22 percentage so out of the 54 seats 12 seats can be given to institutional preference candidates that's approximately 22 percentage roughly if you look at jipmer and all the aims it's roughly around that number 20 percentage 21 22 right each college it may vary slightly but it is somewhere between 20 to 22 percentage now let's try to understand what is this 200 point roster right so this is the 200 point roster published by aims you can see here uh, the roster point and then it will show for example new delhi and rishikesh right um what will be the seat allotted to that particular candidate right let's first look at how many seats are available let's look at for example uh aims new delhi let's take uh, total pg seats we have 150 seats now i want to find out out of 150 seats how many seats go to unreserved candidate now let's look at here then probably you should be able to find out um you come here 150 you need to find out 150 okay 150 is somewhere here so this is 150 so you need to look slightly backwards then this is unreserved 62 so when it comes to 150 only 62 seats are un unreserved category so that is what is shown in the table right so you can see here sorry so you can see here that uh, out of 150 seats 62 seats are under unreserved category so that is how you use the 200 points uh, system for example if you want to find out say 54 uh, seats are available in aims bhopal if you want to find out what is the unreserved seats then once again you need to come to um, the 200 point roster system come to 54 then look at uh, okay you can see here 54 you can see here that it is unreserved 24 seats okay so that's how you look at the 200 point roster system right that's uh, basically uh, because there will be some decimals right uh, so we use a 200 point roster system there is not some candidates get an advantage for example sometimes it, the calculation will come like 14.5 um, for obc now you cannot give 15 you cannot give 14 that would be unfair for other candidates so um, sometimes in some years it will be 14 in some years it will be 15 so how do you track it you use the roster point system to track it 
So that's how you look at it, right? This is um, um, again the calculation which I explained. For example, you can take Ames Noodle Heap. The total seats in 2016 were 77, 50 percentage of that 39. And then uh, PG seats, you can see that excluding MDS, there are 150 seats. And uh, we looked at the unreserved seats. That means 62 seats are unreserved out of 150. And 50 percentage of that is 31. So now we need to compare whether 31 or 39. Take the minimum. So we need to provide a maximum of 31 seats as reservation. Now in Ames, Delhi, you can see that 77 graduates they get 31 seats reservation very good whereas when you come to bhopal 100 students graduate but only 12 students get the reservation so it depends on the college depends on the number of uh, pg seats available right in new delhi the pg seats is very high 150 seats that's why they get a very high reservation whereas in bhopal the number of uh, pg seats is lesser only 54 seats and if you have a college where there is no PG seat, that means you won't get any reservation, right? You can see here, there are only seven colleges uh, in 2016. I think we had only seven colleges. Only these seven colleges are given the reservation because 2016, they don't have other colleges offering MBBS. So next year, we may see more colleges adding to this uh, PG reservation. Okay. Now, this is the percentage, as I said, 21 percentage, 22 percentage, right? 21 percentage. Most of them is either 21 percentage or 22 percentage reserved seats. Now, this is the total seats available. For example, uh, Ames, New Delhi, you can see that how the 150 seats we calculated. The various departments, anesthesiology, anatomy, biochemistry, biophysics, and so on. MDS, MDS is not taken in the calculation then dm uh, mch all those are included so 153 uh, 3 mds so 150 that's what i showed you earlier right like that every college how many seats are offered is shown here now how about jipmer uh, puducherry do they have a roster system yes they also have a roster system right similarly like say for example if jipmer uh, has 100 pg seats then you can see that institutional reservation will be 19 seats 19 candidates can get reservation if there are 100 seats then 19 candidates can get reservation if there is 101 seats then 20 candidates will get the reservation right that's how you need to look at um, now let me go back to the presentation okay so now let's move on we said that it is 22 percentage now when it comes to jipmer uh, one advantage in Jipmer is either you study in Jipmer Puducherry or Jipmer Karekal, you can get the institutional preference in Puducherry. Right now, Karekal, I don't think they have a, a PG uh, seat uh, allotted yet. I don't think they have a PG yet. So, Jipmer Puducherry offers reservation both for Jipmer Puducherry candidate and Karekal candidate. Whereas in Ames, you should have studied in the same Ames college. Whereas for Jipmer institutional preference, you could have studied either in Puducherry or Karekal, right? So hopefully that information is useful. So if you study either in Jipmer or Ames, you get this advantage, you get a reservation in the same college where you have studied. So it's a very good option for you because you can continue your post graduation in the same college where you have completed your graduation. That would be great, right? Yeah. Okay. So thank you. If you have any doubts, Please leave your queries in the comments. I will try to address them. Thank you. Bye-bye.